hello guys my name is peace in this module which is the first module i've been introducing the products to effectively make up a client's face so we're starting with skin preparation and to um, start somebody's makeup you need to clean the face first and this is a wipes for cleaning the face then next thing you have to moisturize the client's face this is what the moisturizer looks like you can either use this or a hydrating mist this is what an hydrating mist looks like then after hydrating or moisturizing the face the next thing is to mattify your prime the client's face with a face primer and this is what a face primer looks like that is all about skin preparation the next thing is to, to lay foundation on the on the client's face with foundation and then there are like different shades of foundation your clients can be very fair or very dark or just in between these are like different, different brands of foundation some are nigerian brands some are international brands then after after laying the foundation on, on your client's face the next thing is to highlight the first type of highlighting is to conceal your client's face and there are like different types of concealer you have different shades too this is what a concealer looks like there are like two different shades here and then after concealing the next step of highlighting is to set the client's face with a setting powder okay so usually it can be loose or it can be compact but this one here is a loose setting powder and the last stage of highlighting is to highlight with a bronzer so this is a bronzer so like i earlier said there are like three st steps of highlighting you have the concealer part you have the setting powder part and then you have the bronzer part then the opposite of highlighting is contouring and you can contour with a dark shade of powder so you don't have to like you can get a, a different contour or you can use a darker shade in a powder palette so that's for contouring then let's move on to the brows yeah to draw your brows you need a brow pencil or a brow pomade or a brow filler but here i have different brow pencils they're like different shades here so if your client is dark you need a darker pencil if your client is very fair you need a, you need a light a lighter shade of pencil yes then after them um, drawing your brows you need to do your eyeshadow so um there are different types of eyeshadows i have different palettes here with me i'll open this one so they're like you can see glitters on this part you can see matte eyeshadows on this part and some are very shimmery so it depends on your clients wants or the type of makeup that you want to do you can either use a matte eyeshadow you can use a shimmer eyeshadow you can use pigments and glitters i'll show you what pigments looks like okay so pigments are like more grounded than glitters glitters they are like more obvious i don't know okay that, that's the word yes and they are also chunk glitters chunk glitters are bigger than glitters glitters are like bigger than pigments so they're like three different types so should i say consistency yes okay so i'll be moving to um lipsticks so they're like different colors it's just the colors that different shades lipstick but it can either be matte also and it can be wet there's also lip gloss okay this is a lip gloss it's clear there are colored ones or tinted ones too and then most times before application of lipstick you have to use your lip balm to soften the lips and to not make it dry this is an example of a lip balm here then then to fix your lashes you need the lash glue and a pair of lashes this is what a pair of lashes looks like and like this is plenty pack this is a pack you just need a pair on your eyes and then this is the lash glue okay i'm moving on to beauty sponges now so you use beauty sponges for the application of your foundation you can have different shapes different sizes for different parts of the face okay I'll, I'll be moving on to the brushes now okay so brushes differ in density they differ in size and it is the bristle that makes them different so for example this is a powder brush uh, um, i usually want to cover like a large area of my face so powder brush is like way bigger because it covers like a large part of the face and then for example now this is an eyeshadow blending brush 
the eyes is just a very small part of the face and I need just a small brush to use it. So the um, density of the brush or the size of the brush matters when you're choosing where you want to use the brush on the client's face. Thank you very much. That'll be all for this module. See you in the next module.